Hi, and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Jessa Jeremiah, and my very first guest today is Mr. John Antal with Niche Market Media. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, John, I've got lots that I want to ask you, but first of all, why don't you tell us a little bit about Niche Market Media and what you're all about? Absolutely. Uh, my company's name is Niche Market Media, and what I do, I, I started out when I was doing graphic design, and then it turned to websites, and now it's turned to the buzz you've probably been hearing uh, for several months, if even a year now, and it's social media. And that is one of the biggest things because there's so many conversations online. And what I do is I come into someone's business when they call me and I analyze what they've got going on. Are they on Facebook? Do they have listings on Google? And what I do is I navigate them through this process and I fill in the blanks so we can raise their level and get them results because really I drive traffic to websites. So I don't just build an online presence, I build businesses online. Wonderful. So you're really in the market of helping businesses grow and get them an online presence. Absolutely. And everything I do, uh, because there is a low barrier of entrance to a lot of people, there's a lot of, you know, uh, not so desirables that, that are web guys. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is everything I do, I provide analytics. I provide results and I send reports monthly so they know exactly what I'm doing. So I stay accountable. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, John, I understand you have had some pretty interesting clients that you've yes. handled their social, social media for. Tell us a little bit about those clients. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, one of the most, uh, my most recent clients actually is WHHI TV. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure working with these guys. And I'm going to tell you how, how it started. Uh, about a year ago, I was on this show. And uh, Sandy was hosting it. And she interviewed me. And before we were through with the interview, she wrote her number on a piece of paper and she goes, I need what you do and you're the first person that's been able to show me and explain it. I need your services. And so literally within about two weeks of us talking, I became a, uh, she became a client of mine. And so we've had this incredible relationship and then a couple months back, WHHI was looking for someone to help them with their social media. They are, you know, the videos, everything they're doing is awesome. I love the new setup. Everything is incredible. However, they had a little bit of uh, some figuring out to do, so to speak, with their social media. So uh, that's where they, I had the relationship with Sandy Benson at mm -hmm. Custom Audio Video, and that kind of got me familiar with these guys and vice versa. Yeah, absolutely. And you make such a good point because it's so nice when you can relate to somebody, you know, in the yeah. case of, you know, sitting here and talking with Sandy, sure. you can really put it into terms for somebody that's real easy for them to, to catch on to when they're not in the business right. of, of web media. So that's great. So how has the relationship so far been going with WHHI and what kind of results have you helped them to achieve? Absolutely, and that's a great question because a lot of people, they, you know, business people, and I've got a traditional business. I've owned brick and mortar businesses as well. I just happen to, uh, to make my living from coffee shops now. And, um, but it's results driven. If I don't get results, I don't have clients. So when, when I came on board, not even maybe a month or two ago, uh, I'm going to tell you how we increased it. They had, well, first of all, they had a Twitter account, but they didn't, the person that was doing it before did not give them a password. They couldn't find it. So what I did was I had to find that, and so they had 12 followers, and now we've got over 2,500 followers on Twitter. Wow, what a difference. And yeah, and that's like a 21, I'm not a awesome at math or anything, but it's like a 21,000% <laughs> gain. Yeah, you don't need to be good at math to, to catch that gain, it's 20, right? <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. And then they've also got, they got set up on two different Facebook pages. One is a friend. And so that one had, uh, we've increased that over 40%. And then they have their official page that's, um, we've increased, increased that by over 200%. And so wow. this is within a short, short time span. And then on top of that, if you look at those pages, uh, you'll see the interaction. We've now got people commenting. And now it's a conversation. And now, you know, not only is WHHI TV totally relevant in this community on TV, they are absolutely relevant now on social media. That's wonderful and when you increase their awareness and, and the consumers awareness on, mm -hmm. on social media sites what a vast improvement to the business I'm absolutely. sure. Absolutely. So what's the relationship been like working with WHHI television? Yeah, they are unbelievably first class and I would encourage anybody that gets asked to do the show to come do it because that's how I got to be where I am with them. Uh, like I said, I did this show about a year ago, and uh, I met an incredible lady, Sandy Benson. She's now a client of mine, and, uh, and that 
help nurture this relationship as well. And uh, you know, they and, and this is the one thing. Like everybody's an expert at their business. And what I do is I kind of come in, and I'm an expert at what I do. And social media, it's web presence, it's SEO. And so what I look, what they're where I can help them. And so I've given WHHI several. Uh, uh, solution, potential solutions, and they have said, yes, let's run with that. And so even though they're an expert of what they do, I've helped them along in this aspect, and they have just taken it by the horns and ran with it. So they have been incredible, and I appreciate the opportunity. Wonderful. So for viewers watching at home, how can you help them out if they might need your services? What exactly do you do for, for potential business owners yeah, at home? Absolutely. And, uh, and, and I'll reiterate, uh, I've owned traditional businesses before. And so sometimes these, the jargon or the terminology that some, of, some web guys may say may confuse the audience. And so that's when I can come in, and I, and I know all that, but I just put it in words that they can understand. And so it's just like you and I are having a conversation here. That's how I explain things to them. And the one thing, or the major things that I do are, uh, because so many people are so busy running their businesses, and I know that for a fact, so I come in and run a part of that. Like, they've got their niche, but I help their niche get found by what I do. Wonderful. And, um, and with that said, I do the things they don't want to do, I do the things businesses don't know how to do, or I do the biz things that businesses don't uh, don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you right. so much, John, for coming on and talking to us about Niche Market Media. It was great having you. And thank you for watching. We'll be right back with more.